If you're feeling stressed or anxious, how do you unwind? I've just bought 10 fidget toys, so let's see if they're any good. The first one we're going to look at is this, Perplexus. And I've got to be honest, when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be a lot, lot smaller. It says on the box there's 70 obstacles, so let's open it up and have a look. It's pretty much a ball maze in a sphere. I don't know if maybe you class this as more of a puzzle ball than a fidget toy, but let's try it out. So you have to line the ball up here on the start, then work your way around the maze. And there's all sorts of angle changes to the platform inside, so you have to keep the ball level and rotate the path around it, trying not to drop the ball. It's not really difficult, but it's not easy either. And it is quite easy to fall off if you're not concentrating. You could definitely play with this toy for quite a while, and there's some good obstacles inside, like some stairs and a tube you've got to go through. It reminds me a little bit of this maze ball I reviewed in a previous video, but I'd definitely say this Perplexus is far superior. The next one we're going to look at is this, Gumball. Take a look at the box, and it describes it as chewing gum for your hands. Open it up, and it's this lovely pink colour. Hmm. It feels nice and thick, and you can stretch it, pull it, and squidge it. And as you do stretch it, it turns kind of white. Whoa, check that out. It's gone kind of transparent, and you can see inside it. The material it's made out of feels like really good quality, and it's nice and strong. It doesn't really bounce at all, but you can give it a good squidge and roll it about on the table. And if I compare it to a couple of the other stress balls I've reviewed on this channel, you can see this one is kind of just more of a dense ball of foam. It's quite fun, but it's not quite as squishable. This watermelon one's really cool, and I love that you can see all the orbies on the inside. But I think this one is probably my favourite. It's a really good size for fitting in your hand. It feels nice and good quality, and I really like how it goes a bit white when you pull it and squidge it. It could be the perfect little accompaniment to sit next to you on the desk. Or how about this little fella? Inside here is this green bug toy. It looks pretty cute, and he's got these flexible little tentacles on the top. Give him a squeeze, and his eyes open and pop out. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. It doesn't really do much else, but it's a nice little fidget. It's pretty portable and quiet, and it might be just what you want to distract you for a minute. What do you think? Would you have it on your desk? Next we're going to take a look at these. Open them up, and there's actually three packets the same. Empty one out, and inside are these four curious fidget things. Any idea what they are? They're obviously threaded, and you can spin these bits up and down. So that's the fidget aspect of them. They're actually designed to go on the end of your pencil or pen. Just push them on over the end, and it's a nice little pencil topper. Haha, <laughs> that's quite cool. And if I try it on this pencil with an eraser on the end, yeah, it even fits over that one too. I do like the fact they're all a little bit different. They are nice and quiet, and it is quite cool having a quick little fidget on the end of your pencil. And I even found you can fit numerous ones together. And still use it as a pencil. But next we're going to take a look at this. This is quite possibly the ultimate fidget pen. Open up the box, and you can see there's a whole set inside. We've got a whole variety of different sized balls. There's 30 altogether of different colours. It comes with four refills here, and one inside the pen. And there's some other paraphernalia, which I'll show you in a minute. So, I lifted the pen out, and it's actually made completely out of little magnets. You can remove the end to reveal the pen, and it works fine just to write like this. And if we want to, you can take off the whole back like this too. In fact, when you want to fidget, you can dismantle the thing into complete individual pieces. It's all made out of little magnets, and what's great is we can combine them with these balls to start making things. There's three different ball sizes to choose from, and you can just start sticking them together and adding bits to make some really cool stuff. For example, this dog, and I'm using the pen clip for a tail. How cool is that? You can make yourself a little stickman figure and use the balls for moving joints, and this time I'm using the pen clip for a sword. Or with a bit more rearranging, you can make a chair. What a great little fidget toy! You kind of forget it's a pen. So, as well as the four refills, they also give us these bits. Two different sizes of touchscreen tips. And to use them, make sure the pen cap's on, remove the end, and snap on a stylus tip. And when I tested it out, it works really well. What a cool fidget pen. And if you're enjoying this video and want to support me, please do subscribe. I've got loads more content coming soon. Next, we're going to take a look at these. We've got two fidget ball poppers. To start with, the colours are really nice and bright and vibrant. And it's a ball covered in these little poppers that you can press in. But as you press them, you're obviously squeezing the ball a little, which pressurises the inside, and as a result, tends to make the poppers pop back out. So it's almost like a little bit of a challenge to see how many of the poppers you can actually press in before they pop back out. It's a nice and portable toy, pretty quiet, but you do get this really satisfying little pop. They look and feel great. They are a little bit bouncy, and you could also roll them back and forth or play catch with them. 
Next we're going to take a look at what's in here. They call it an optical illusion rotating ball. It comes in this nice little box, and when I ordered it there was a choice of colours and two different sizes. I ordered this blue one. Remove it from the packaging and here we go. It's made from an aluminium alloy, so it feels quite substantial and solid. It has this anti-skid silicon mat on the bottom, which should stop it sliding around and scratching your desk. And the idea is you just sit it down and give it a spin. And because it's quite weighty, it carries on spinning for ages. And there's this sort of spherical corkscrew helix, which creates this sort of really cool optical illusion. A bit like a wave, it looks like it's kind of climbing up out of the desk, or spin it the other way. And that's it, there's no more features than that, but it's pretty much silent and nice and portable, and you just put it on your desk or wherever you're working, and every now and again give it a little spin. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Next we're going to take a look at this. They call it the massage bracelet. It's this curious kind of metal triangle, which kind of folds around in on itself. It's a kind of infinity toy, it just keeps going round and around. You can do it just with one hand, but I found it easier with two. It's definitely nice and portable and silent, and it comes in a few different colours. It seems to be built well, but it is a bit limiting to what you can do with it. Next we're going to take a look at this. It's called Bead Orbit, and it looks quite curious, so let's test it out. Remove it from the box, and we've got this cool looking little fidget. I like the colours, and you can see there's three balls encased in this track which goes around the middle. You can just spin them round and around, but what is cool is you can twist the whole thing to change the path of the track. Oh, that's cool. You can just twist it back and move it in any direction you like. And of course, depending where the balls are when you move it, you might trap them in different parts. It's quite a cool little fidget. Again, nice and small and quiet, but I did find you do need to be careful not to pinch your fingers when you're twisting it around. Now, inside here is something really cool. They actually supply us with this little pouch and this case. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know there's often some kind of fidget spinner in these cases. Open this one up and that's exactly what we've got. But this one is a little bit different. To start with, it's solid metal and it's built really well. It feels lovely and smooth and it's a really interesting design. It spins really well and I really like these five metal balls mounted around the side but next I'm going to show you what else it comes with. So inside this pouch we get another little bag with some marbles and this really cool little metal cage which is actually a stand to mount the spinner on. So this cutout here at the top matches the profile which has been machined into the inside of the thumb grips. So we should be able to just hook it over like this. Yeah look at that. How cool is that? Give it a spin and there we go. It's like a really cool little fidget spinner ferris wheel for your desk. That's so cool. And of course you can just pick it up and play with it in your hands or keep it on the stand and watch it. But there is something else really cool I want to show you. So inside the pouch was this bag of marbles. There were also some spare screws and this mini screwdriver. And what I really like about this fidget toy is we can take it apart and replace the metal balls with these glass marbles instead. I did find it a little bit fiddly using this tiny screwdriver, but it did work. I started by unscrewing the this outer set of screws. Then I had to remove the thumb grips by unscrewing them, which exposed another five screws on the inside. And once I'd loosened those, I was finally able to pull out the middle balls, which left me with this empty cage. And because the marbles are the same diameter, you can just clip them in instead. Pretty cool, huh? But while we're at this stage, and before I put it all back together, I wanted to carry on fidgeting and take it apart even more. So I removed those five inner screws, which allowed me to lift off this top plate. Then I rolled away the five marbles. We can now lift out the nice little bearing, and the bottom plate is identical to the top one. Then I removed one of these screws to see how it all goes together. So there's ten screws on the top and bottom, with these little threaded couplers to tighten them in too. This is really fiddly little stuff, so I'm not going to remove any of the others. I poked the screw back through the hole, then managed to sit the coupler on top and finally I tightened up the screw. Then I started reassembly. I replaced the bearing back into the center, sat the top plate back on and loosely refitted the five center screws. Then I clipped in the five glass marbles, fitted the five outer screws and tightened everything up. Then I screwed back together the thumb grips. And there we are. Don't marbles always look great when you hold them up to the light? This is definitely one of my favourite fidget spinners. And which do you prefer, the marbles or the metal balls? But have you seen this fidget toy? This thing's really cool. And if you'd like to see me trying it out, along with a whole load of other fidget toys, you can click on the link. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.